Hi, Sarah here. Um, so in this part of our workshop, uh, I wanted to talk to you about how to organize your workspace. Instead of showing you another slideshow, I thought it might be a little bit more interesting if you got to see my workspace and I can show you some of the features uh, to give you an idea of how to stay organized. So a couple things um, before I start, just want to let you know, this is a new computer for me and I haven't had a lot of experience using the video, so it's not going to be the best quality, but it should do the trick. The other thing I want to mention first is that I have a large workspace and you might not have that luxury and yours isn't going to look exactly the same, but the same kind of ideas are going to apply. So you're probably going to be in your bedroom. Um, so you'll have a space where you sleep and you should have a separate space for your workspace. So that's the point is to keep the two spaces separate, even if they're in the same room. So my room uh, is a dual purpose room. I use part of the room for work for my tutoring business and the other part I use for my crafting. So I'm gonna turn this around, give you a quick 360, then we'll go through all the details. So where you first saw me was at the entrance. On this side is where I keep my crafting materials. Then I have a desk or a workspace for my crafting. I have some natural sunlight, a fireplace that's nice for the winter. And my desk for work, storage for work, more storage, and we're all the way around. So, you may not have crafting materials, but how I've organized things is going to give you some ideas on how you can organize um, your own materials for um, whatever work you're doing. So, for example, I make jewelry and I have a lot of beads. So I have little drawers where I store my beads. And the key point I wanted to make here is that I've labeled all of the drawers so that it is quick and easy for me to find everything that I need. So when I'm finished working with something, that item goes right back where it belongs so that I'm never wondering where something is. I'm not wasting time trying to find something that could have been very quick and easy to find. So same idea with my cabinets. I know where everything is. I have colored pencils here. I have containers for paper. And when I put things in boxes, so there could be a lot of items in these boxes, but if I have them labeled with what's in them, then it's going to be a lot faster for me to find. So keeping organized with materials has a dual purpose. Not only are you organized, but you're also saving time. So to my workspace for my crafting, um, what I have on my table is only the things that I need for this specific project. So the key point here is that I don't have clutter. If you have clutter, then you're going to be less focused. And when you're less focused, you're not going to be as productive. So only what you need for the project that you're working on, um, only what you need on your workspace, everything else should be out of the way. So that kind of also points to the point of not having any distractions in your workspace. So I don't know if you've noticed, but I don't have a TV in this room. TV is distracting for me, so there's none here. I do have speakers with an iPod, but I only use it at times when, um, when I'm not distracted by music. So I'll listen to music when I'm crafting, but if I'm doing something regarding tutoring and it's something that's taking a lot of thought process, I'm not going to turn the music on because I'm not going to be as focused and as productive. I'm going to end up humming or whistling or singing 
and I'm just not going to get as much done. I have some extra storage space down here and over here to my workspace for tutoring and the like. So I have a big desk. Um, you don't want to be sitting on your bed doing your work because you're just going to fall asleep. So make sure that you have a desk. Um, you don't have to spend a lot of money on a desk. You can um, find something at Value Village or something on Kijiji. Um, and there's certain times of the year when it's easier to find um, furniture items such as when students have just finished a semester and are moving. And you don't even have to have a desk like this. You could have a fold-out table like I have here. Um, so if you don't have a very large space um, and you don't have a lot of stuff, you could only, uh, just take out, you know, you could call this a card table. You could take out the card table only when you need it and fold it up and put it away when you want more space for other things such as when your friends are coming over. Okay, again, um, on this workspace, just like with the uh, craft space, I have on my desk only what I need for what I'm doing. So I've been working on the slideshow. I use my computer for the slideshow, and I have one notebook where I keep all the notes that I need for that workshop. So if everything's in just one space, I know exactly where everything is, and I'm not frantic trying to find it. I have multiple drawers in my desk, it makes it easy to organize things. I have pens, pencils, notebooks in the top drawer, next drawer down. I have everything that I need to put up posters at the universities when I go to do that, and anything that I need for my computer, including some CDs. And the last drawer holds um, math and chemistry tools that I use for teaching. So the point is that, again, just like with my crafting, everything has a home. I know what drawer is for what, so things are quick to find. And if I want things even more easily accessible, I can put them up here so it's really quick to grab a pen or a pencil. And these also have drawers for uh, paper clips and erasers and things of that nature, but you don't have to spend a lot of money For um, anything fancy you can go to the dollar store and just buy containers such as these to Keep everything in one spot Now you may or may not want to use a filing system um some people use binders, some people use notebooks, some people are pilers, so you might find that you're piling papers up on top of your desk. If you're a piler, you might prefer to use a filing system instead. So instead of just random piles on your desk, get organized with your piles. Put them in folders that are labeled, and you can put them in a filing cabinet such as this with the the folders that stand upright and make sure that you label uh, each of the folders so that they're quick and easy to access as well. So here's my big storage container and um, one thing I wanted to mention is that I stock up on supplies in August. August is when Staples is having sales and other stores as well for back to school. Um, I just like to go to Staples because everything is all in one spot and I get a discount. One thing in particular that I stock up on is paper. So paper can be really expensive throughout the year, like five bucks a pack. But in August, it can be 25 cents, sometimes only 10 cents a pack. Um, I also stock up, stock up on graph paper. So anything that I use a lot, I make sure I stock up and store here. Uh, plastic sleeves are good to have for notes that are really important that you're that you're um, accessing all the time like maybe a periodic table or a formula sheet that you're you're using a lot so you don't want it to get destroyed you may have noticed that I don't have a bookcase in my room but I do have a lot of books 
So I didn't have space here. I put my bookcases in another room. But what I do do is I take out the books. Oh, look at that, that one's interesting. I do take out the books that I'm using at the time um, and only those books that I need uh, so that I don't have the extra clutter. So what I've been using for the workshop is here and those are the only books that I have in the room right now. Um, so computers. Uh, I know some people might not be able to afford a computer. If you do, that's great. You may want to get a printer as well. It might be very convenient for you. But if you can't, it's not a big deal. You've paid for access to computers at your school in your tuition. So take advantage of it. Uh, you're going to have a login to get onto the computers at your school. Um, and you'll have um, a drive. For example, at Dalhousie, I think they call it a G drive. And you can save all your files to that drive. Um, and you'll get a card. So if you go to Dalhousie, you'll have a Dal card and you can put money on that card. And you can do a lot of things with that. You can buy food around campus, but you can also use the card to print. So if you don't have um, the luxury of affording um, some technology, don't worry, it's there for you on campus to use. Um, I've got some more filing cabinets here and some more like different ways of filing things. So I file some uh, craft ideas here. And here's another filing system where I keep um, cards. So that's pretty much all the way around. So let's just recap on the main points that I wanted to make. You need to have a designated workspace with a desk. You don't want to be working from your uh, bed because you're just going to fall asleep. Your room should have no distractions. So I did mention TV, but I didn't mention this dreaded creature, the cell phone. What I do is I do get distracted by the cell phone as well when you're getting lots of notifications. Um, I would suggest don't sync your other um, uh, technology devices like if you've got an iPad or your computer, don't sync them up with your phone so that you're getting notifications on your computer as well. That's just another way to get distracted. So what I do is I take my cell phone and I put it all the way upstairs in another room where it's inconvenient to get to so that I'm not distracted by it. Next off, everything should have a home and needs to go back to its home when you are done with it. So like I mentioned before, that's going to be a huge time saver for you because you're going to know exactly where it is so it's quick to get to. And also you're not panicking when you really needed something five minutes ago. If your space starts to get cluttered or messy, take the time to tidy up. Maybe every Thursday evening you decide to take the time to do that tidying. Um, or maybe you only have to do it every once in a while, but just make sure you don't have the extra clutter. Remember, clutter on your workspace is the same as clutter in your head. You're not going to be productive and focused if you have that clutter around. Label your storage containers and file folders so it's easy to find what you're looking for. Again, big time saver. Good lighting is very important. So if you don't have the luxury of having the nice natural sunlight. Make sure that you have lots of lamps or a very good um, light fixture. And you don't need to spend big bucks on materials and organizational materials to stay organized. And there are lots of resources at school if you don't, if you're not able to afford them. All right, so back around. I know I've got good lighting over here. I tried this once before in front of the window and it was horrible. All right, so that was my workspace. Uh, I hope that was helpful and a little bit more interesting than just a slideshow of what you should do for your room. Uh, I hope you can employ some of those strategies and time to go back to the workshop. Bye!